Figure AI's Helix robot just evolved faster than anyone predicted, and what it's doing in warehouses right now will blow your mind. We're talking human-level speed, self-taught tricks, and a scary good 95% success rate. While everyone's distracted by these insane capabilities, there's a $40 billion battle raging behind the scenes. Figure's CEO is dodging BMW questions, Hugging Face just launched open-source robot rivals, and hotel cleaning humanoids are already rolling out in China. And today, we're breaking down exactly what's coming next. Let's get into it. The pace of progress in robotics rarely follows a straight line, but Figure AI's Helix Humanoid is defying expectations with logarithmic improvements. Three months ago, this system was handling basic box manipulation in controlled environments. Today, it operates with a fluidity that edges disturbingly close to human-level dexterity in real-world logistics scenarios. What changed? The robot now processes poly bags, rigid boxes, and flat envelopes with equal confidence, dynamically adjusting its grip strategy mid-motion. A polyethylene mailer requires a different approach than a corrugated cardboard box. And as the video shows, Helix has learned to flick, pinch, or cradle each package type appropriately. This adaptability has pushed throughput to 4.05 seconds per package a 20% speed increase despite handling more complex items. The secret lies in two key upgrades. First, a new vision memory module gives Helix temporal awareness. Unlike earlier systems that treated each camera frame as an isolated snapshot, the robot now maintains a short-term memory of package orientation and conveyor belt activity. This eliminates redundant actions. If Helix glimpsed a barcode during an earlier rotation, it recalls that positional data rather than rescanning blindly. Second, integrated force feedback provides a crude but effective sense of touch. The system detects pressure differentials when gripping, allowing micro adjustments that prevent crushed boxes or slipped envelopes. This manifests in behaviors like the now viral package padding maneuver, where Helix gently flattens wrinkled plastic mailers to ensure scannable surfaces. Crucially, this wasn't explicitly programmed. The policy learned it organically from 60 hours of human demonstration data. The data scaling effects are particularly revealing. When trained on just 10 hours of demonstrations, Helix averaged 6.84 seconds per package with 88.2% scan success. At 60 hours, those numbers tightened to 4.31 seconds and 94.4% proof that even state-of-the-art models remain data-hungry. This scalability explains Figure's aggressive 100,000-unit production target. A fleet that large wouldn't just satisfy demand. It would generate the petabytes of operational data needed to push these systems toward true autonomy. As for the company, Brett Adcock's recent appearance at the Bloomberg Tech Conference should have been a victory lap. Instead, the figure CEO found himself navigating uncomfortable questions about the company's most high-profile partnership. When pressed on whether BMW represents a commercial deployment or merely a pilot program, Adcock deflected with vague references to tracking metrics and operational learnings. The evasion stands in stark contrast to competitors like Agility Robotics and Boston Dynamics, who showcased live demos at the same event. Adcock dismissed such exhibitions as distractions, insisting pre-recorded videos better represent real-world performance. Skeptics counter that edited footage obscures failure rates and environmental controls. Critical data points for potential clients. Financial context amplifies the scrutiny. Sources suggest Figure is courting investors at a $39.5 billion valuation, a 15 times increase from early 2024. This staggering number hinges on converting partnerships like BMW from tech demonstrations into revenue streams. While Figure has released footage of robots in BMW's Spartanburg plant, neither party has disclosed contract values, deployment scales, or performance benchmarks. The ambiguity creates risk. Industrial clients typically demand transparent ROI calculations before adopting automation at scale, 
Without hard metrics on uptime, error rates, or labor displacement, figures valuation begins to resemble a bet on potential rather than proven utility. That said, the company's technical progress, evidenced by Helix's rapid advancement, suggests they may be playing the long game, prioritizing capability development over premature commercialization. What emerges is a high-stakes balancing act. Every day spent refining Helix's dexterity strengthens Figure's technical lead, but the clock is ticking on investor patience. The coming months will reveal whether this is calculated discretion or confusion, and whether BMW's assembly lines will host dozens of humanoids or just camera-friendly prototypes. Next, the robotics landscape shifted dramatically when Hugging Face, better known as the central hub for open source AI models, unveiled its first physical creations. The company's acquisition of Pollen Robotics has borne fruit in the form of two distinct humanoid platforms that challenge the proprietary approach dominating the industry. HopeJR represents the flagship platform, a full-scale humanoid boasting 66 actuated degrees of freedom. This modular system, currently progressing through walking simulations, is designed specifically for researchers pushing boundaries in embodied AI. What makes it remarkable isn't just the mechanical complexity, but the complete transparency. Every CAD file, control algorithm, and training dataset will be available on GitHub. The system architecture reveals clever compromises, like using harmonic drives for precision in the wrists while opting for more affordable actuators in less critical joints. For education and prototyping, the Ricci Mini offers a scaled-down alternative. This desktop-sized unit maintains the core functionality of its larger sibling while dramatically reducing both cost and footprint. Early documentation shows thoughtful touches like magnetic tool changers and ROS2 compatibility, lowering the barrier for student projects. The decision to open source everything down to the bill of materials creates something rare in robotics, a platform where improvements from academic labs can flow directly back into the core design. This open ecosystem stands in stark contrast to Figure AI's walled garden approach where commercial players guard their training data and sensor configurations as trade secrets, Hugging Face's model treats them as communal resources. The implications are profound. A university lab could theoretically take Ricci Mini's base design, integrate their novel grasping algorithm, and have a publishable research platform for less than the cost of a single industrial robotic arm. Moving on, Hospitality Automation reached a new milestone with Xerath Robotics H1, the first humanoid specifically engineered for hotel housekeeping. This isn't another wheeled robot vacuum. It's a full task replacement capable of navigating cramped bathrooms, scrubbing porcelain, and restocking amenities with surprising finesse. The technical achievements become apparent when examining how H1 handles variable surfaces. Its height-adjustable torso, ranging from 1.2 to 1.7 meters, combines with omnidirectional wheels to maneuver in spaces where most robots would fail. The cleaning subsystem shows particular innovation. Rather than simple wiping motions, it employs pressure-modulated scrubbing patterns that adapt to different surface materials, verified in testing across tile, stainless steel, and acrylic surfaces. Early deployment data from Chinese hotels reveals the system's practical advantages. The 500-unit pre-order reflects confidence in its 83% task completion rate for standard room servicing, a figure that climbs to 97% for specific tasks like vanity restocking. What's telling is the maintenance profile. With modular components designed for 15-minute swap-out, hotels report 92% uptime despite heavy use cycles. This specialization points to a broader trend in robotics, where general-purpose humanoids struggle with reliability. Targeted designs like H1 demonstrate that constrained environments with repetitive tasks may be the proving ground for practical humanoid applications. The real test will come when these units accumulate thousands of operational hours. Will they maintain their precision or reveal the hidden complexities of real-world service environments? Time will tell. Up next, 
UC Berkeley's Salto robot now sticks landings like a seasoned acrobat. This lightweight dynamo has mastered precision jumps between pipes, nailing 25 out of 30 attempts in recent trials. The breakthrough came from two key upgrades, a claw-like foot gripper that latches onto curved surfaces and adaptive crouching mechanics that prevent toppling. The secret lies in bio-inspired engineering. Salto's new foot mechanism mimics squirrel anatomy, using elastic energy storage to ensure secure grips. Meanwhile, its control system makes real-time micro-adjustments mid-air, tweaking body position for optimal landings. When it touches down, the robot automatically shifts into a stabilized crouch, just like an animal bracing after a leap. Researchers trained these skills through simulated trial and error, with the AI attempting over 100,000 virtual jumps before transitioning to the physical world. The payoff? A robot that could soon be inspecting construction sites by hopping between steel beams or monitoring ecosystems by navigating tree canopies. With further development, we might even see robot parkour teams performing coordinated stunts. Last but not least, the UK's Defence Science and Technology Laboratory has deployed an underwater sentry that could revolutionise maritime security. This specialised ROV combines military-grade sonar with explosive handling capabilities, creating a unique solution for protecting critical subsea infrastructure. During recent tests in Norway's fjords, the robot demonstrated three crucial skills. Detecting mines with 94% accuracy using its advanced sonar array, manipulating objects with its heavy-duty robotic arm, and precisely placing disarming charges. It operates effectively at depths exceeding 300 meters, far beyond human diving limits, and maintains position even in strong currents. The system strikes a careful balance between autonomy and human oversight. While it can independently navigate and inspect pipelines, all explosive engagements require direct operator approval. This hybrid approach ensures safety while maximizing operational efficiency. With underwater cables and pipelines becoming increasingly vital and vulnerable, such robotic guardians may soon become standard equipment for naval forces worldwide. So what's the verdict? Humanoid robots are advancing fast. Whether it's Figure's Logistics Beast, Hugging Face's open source bots, or hotel cleaning and pipeline defending machines. Which one excites you the most? Drop a comment, smash that like button, and subscribe for more cutting edge tech breakdowns. See you in the next one.